What is the crack? And welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a Resident Evil style camera. Um, I've been wanting to do this since I played Resident Evil 1 and... Or Resident Evil 3 and Silent Hill on the PlayStation Classic. Um, like, 3-4 weeks ago. I wanted to do this video, like, 4 days ago. But Unity just keeps crashing and will not work no matter what I do. So if it crashes in this video, I'm sorry. But, um... Also, I have the game that I'm testing it in as super super low quality you can probably see here it's on really low rather than the mega quality because i put it on mega and it lags to be fuck so sorry about that um but this is pretty much what it's gonna be like just to show you guys um so as you can see i'm even laggy on this but uh when you walk to the stairs it interacts the camera for the hallway I have a, a third person character, not a, or sorry, I have a first person character, not a third person. So, I don't have a body, so, um, for all purposes, uh, let me find the player and just add, like, a, a cube to them, just so you can actually see them. Um, so, you would see your character if you had a full model character, you can see the cube on me. So now, you can see the cube walking down the stairs, you can see it, like, turning and stuff. And it continues to walk down the stairs. And then continues to go this way. Works very, very well, I have to say, for like the two, three seconds it took me to make it. So let's get into um, how I ended up making it. Things you're going to need. You're going to need a trigger. So you're going to need a cube. I have it right here. Um, I just have the mesh collider. Um or mesh renderer turned off. So when you walk into that cube, it activates the camera. The camera is actually a part of it, which is just above the stairs. So if I turn on this camera as active, it takes over that as the main point of view. So that's all handy dandy right there. Um, I have a script on the cube, I believe, um, yep, called Resident Evil Camera. Let me go into that real quick and show you what it does. So pretty much what you want is a cube, Make sure you have it as a box collider trigger and put a rigid body on it. You can have it as used gravity or a kinematic if you want. It's opening up Visual Studios, which it should not be doing. It should be opening up Mono Develop. It's doing something. It's definitely doing something. And here we go. That is the script. It is nothing. It is tiny. Let me zoom in so you guys can see it. So, you want to add a public object game object and point of view you can also do this as uh, instead of game object you can have that as camera and then you can have the on here instead of setting it true you could have a uh, point of view dot uh, enabled equals enabled or enabled equals disabled and uh, my camera just completely like froze there for a minute yeah we're getting um lag issues because just too much shit running on my computer right now um, so I'm gonna have to sh go through this real quick close this out and then yeah but I'll explain it so you have on here on trigger stay so while you're in the square make the camera true you can have it as on enter I like having it on stay and um, if you collide with the tag player I did have this originally as cam but then I had it on you could if you change this to cam and um, you'd have to put it on the player rather than having it on the box either rider it's your preference but um, if call dot game object dot tag is equal to player, which the player is called player, um, point of view dot set active is equal to true. You don't have to do an equals, I believe. I think just the brackets it works. Um, I'm definitely not in sync anymore because of that bit of a lag issue. So let me just fix that real quick. Sorry about that, guys. I think I'm back. I think so. I don't know. I hate when my computer does that. But then um, you do the close brackets then to finish that off. Then you do another one on exit, pretty much the same shit, but then false. So when you go into it, make that camera the new main camera. No matter what point of view you're looking at, that is the new main camera. Then when you walk out of it, go back to the last one. So simple as that. And then all the script does is turn on and off the camera when you walk into it. Like it's It's that easy. It's very simple. I've been recording for like eight minutes and i'm deleting like two three minutes of it anyway so it's a fairly fairly simple script as you can see walking in and out of it so 
it's really easy. You can also then just like move the camera to like any point of view you want. So let me just move the camera here, uh, turn it a little bit of an angle and then aim it down a smidge or more. So now you'll see it's kind of like looking over the stairs at you as you're walking down. See, like it's very easily changeable. Um, I will do a part two of this where it's, it'll be more like the Silent Hill where the camera actually kind of like pans and moves as you do. So it kind of like follows you around corners and stuff, which is a uh, which looked really, really cool when I uh, when I saw that for the first time in the Silent Hill. Um, but um, I'm going to leave this here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to record another video now where I do the Apex Legends uh, moving texts. So, uh, not actual text, like textures. Um, so, yeah, uh, look forward to that. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Sorry for the low quality. And if there was any music in the background, I'm sorry about that. But, um, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy it. I enjoyed making it. Let me know if there's any more shit down below in the comments that you want to see. If it's fairly easy and I know how to do it, I'll do it. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. Hope to see you guys in another video real fucking soon. Bye. Good.